Hello everybody, welcome to today's description. My topic uh, will be the story so far as lead vocalist Parker Cannon. And here is the story. At yesterday's Vans Warped Tour in Montreal, uh, the band was playing and during their set they started with their song Daughters and uh, an altercation actually broke out up front between a security guard and a fan. Uh, the band immediately stopped playing their song and Parker jumped down to uh, get in a tussle with the security guard uh, because he obviously did not like what he was doing to the fan. Uh, he took the person down and normally as it would go with crowd surfing, you pull a fan down, you let him go and he goes to the back of the crowd and will more than likely try it again. But no, not this time. He hauled him down and then aggressively pushed him to the ground. Now of course anyone who would see this would probably speak up and say something, but Parker took action. He went up to the security guard, pushed him, and you know, he said this is not cool. You know, basically that's what it was. You couldn't really hear what he said. But of course he was not pleased. So all the security tried to break up this little tussle, as well as Alan Day from Four Years Strong. I guess he was side stage uh, watching the band. But yeah, so they eventually broke it up, uh, Parker got back up on stage, and the band began to play again. Uh, in the video, it pretty much shows uh, everything that goes down. Uh, you can't really see why the security guard got so aggressive. I know for a fact that, um, I guess during the job, you know, you can get too into it or, you know, a lot of security can be really nice or not very nice. Uh, but the big topic and question that I came here to talk about is do you think he did the right thing, uh, that being Parker Cannon, uh, getting down and getting in a tussle with security while he was trying to do his own job? Now, me personally, I'm just going to say this. I think he did the right thing. I know for a fact that uh, the story so far as a band like to have very intimate shows and they don't like to have security or barriers. They like to be as close as their fans as possible. Uh, I know when I saw them last November up in Toronto, uh, they played at a venue that had no security and no railing. It was pretty much the stage and here's the band and here's the fans. They're literally right next to them. And, uh, you know, that's just how the band likes to play. So I guess if they see something like that happening, of course they would want to do something. Uh, Will Levy, their guitarist, just stopped playing immediately and was going to jump down, but of course Parker got there first. Uh, I think he did the right thing, uh, and a lot of people will probably agree with me on this. I think if you're in a band and you see one of your fans that came to watch your set specifically or just is spending their own time watching you, that means that they care, and you know, it's like a, a mutual thing. If a band cares, the fan cares. You know, it's, it goes both ways. Uh, of course, in a sense that it really shows here. If Parker took, you know, his own safety and, you know, is, he used his own mind to think that, hey, you know, I got to do something here. That That's right, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to say. Um, I know that at Vans this year, or sorry, at, at Warp Tour this year, uh, there's a sign on every stage. It's like, no moshing, no crowd surfing. If we get sued, you lose the concert. It's something like that. Uh, if I find a picture of it, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, which I, I know why they're doing it. I know in, four, uh, in previous years, especially last year, I think they had a lot of problems uh, with being sued by fans or their parents. Uh, so it makes perfect sense to try to stop it. Although everyone knows with a concert, crowd surfing and moshing is all part of it. It's just like, you know, the band's playing, the fans showing up, and merch being sold, everything. It's just a part of how at least Warped Tour has always been. And it's uh, how fans show they love the band or how they really get into a band. And you know, it's just part of it. So taking away part of their fun and their experience from it, it's kind of sad. I know a lot of bands don't really stop the, the moshing and they kind of encourage it by telling them to start a circle pit or you know, wall of death, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, in, in this case specifically with the story so far as Parker Cannon and whoever that security guard was, um, you know, I'm gonna take Parker's side. Uh, I know Kevin Lyman tweeted out that uh, the security guard, or sorry, the security um, guard's company has this footage, and I guess they are going to deal with him as they see fit. Uh, now, if Kevin will do anything to the band, like kick them off the tour, I don't really see that happening. I mean, it's possible. Like, I'm sure it's happened before. Maybe someone's been kicked off a tour. Uh, I'm not sure about Warp Tour now, but, you know, a big band like that playing, they still have like half of this tour left. I don't really see him kicking a big name like that off the tour. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. I want you to let me know what you think about the situation down below. Uh, I'll link some numerous videos of the footage. Uh, there's like a, a minute long video and like a three minute video of like the entire altercation even after uh, the scuffle has ended. Uh, but yes, closing, that is my opinion. I think Parker did the right thing. Standing up for one of his fans is, you know, high honor of respect and, you know, most definitely shows that he cares and that's what you really got to do. If you see something like that happening and you just kind of pass it by, how are you supposed to feel afterwards? 
All right, guys, that's about everything. Uh, I'll probably see you again tomorrow. Uh, if you want, you can go on my Facebook page. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And as always, make sure you like the video, share it around. And again, please, let me know what you think. I really want to get some feedback on this. This is what these description videos are about, talking and feedback. All right, so until uh, next time, remember, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, music for life. Peace out.